it's snowing and I have snow in my eyes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, well, it's a new dawn, a new day. Hello to your faces. We are heading to the post office because um, I got the orange slip saying that I had a package being attempted to be delivered. Um, normally, the post office, normally, they just leave it there. I've never had to go pick it up. So, this is a first. So, let's go. It's a rock and roll. And hopefully, the snow stays as light and fluffy for a while. <laughs> there, everyone's trying to give me a freaking heart attack today. Go to the post office and they're like, um, yeah, they took your package out for re-delivery. And I'm like, no, it shouldn't be. I requested that I pick it up. And they're like, yeah, no, they took it out. Like, we can't find it. And I went, can you please just double check? And basically, the um, lady could not read the uh, driver's handwriting because um, she thought it said 400 instead of 490. So, yeah. Um, but I got my package. It's all good. Now I gotta go home, grab what I need out of it, and then head to rehearsal in Connecticut for day two. I just got home. I just got a text saying that um, basically, yeah, the school's rehearsals are cancelled tonight because of the weather. Because um, yeah, it's snowing. Um, and we weren't forecast to get snow down here. So if we're getting snow in Jersey, I'd hate to see what it's like in Connecticut right now. But apparently they've shut down all the school systems. Um around the township and everything so yeah <sighs> so i rushed down to the post office for nothing <sighs> this is good this means i don't waste my day i got up early and i i'm doing i'm being productive that means i can get the headpiece finished because um yeah this has the boots in it i'm so sad right now my mom sent me a soup mix. Well, she sent me two actually, and unfortunately, one of them exploded in transit. So, yeah. And this is what we're dealing with. I saved the majority of it, but I think this is just unsavable. Even though it's like dry and everything, but like I don't have any mason jars free, so I'm gonna just have to sacrifice it, I guess. I could. I. Right. It's currently. 7.20 in the evening. We've had a blizzard all day. So now I can go outside because it stopped and get myself something to eat from Whole Foods. <sighs> okay, let's go. Oh, and did I forget to mention it's minus 11 degrees Celsius. So yeah, which is like six degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> that does not compete with me right now, but they're warning everyone that you could end up with like frostbite if your limbs are exposed um, to the weather and everything. So I've got my face mask, I've got my ski gloves. So let's go I'm rocking and rolling in this cold weather. Three hours later. Right. I'm in Walmart. I had to come here to get fabric for a headpiece that I'm making. My eyes hurt, that's why I'm wearing my glasses, which I don't normally wear, because I don't fit my face anymore. Yep, I've had these since I was 12. Yeah, I need to upgrade. I think it's this way. Yes, craft and sewing. That is where we're going. So far, I've been told to wait until 10 p.m. to get this piece of fabric cut. That was about 15 minutes ago. It's now 10 02. Yeah. I don't know what they're doing. I think they're restocking and everything, but I've been ignored the entire time. So, yeah. Not impressed. Not impressed. I'm tired. I want to go home. I want to get this headpiece finished so I can go to bed. But, yeah. I'm standing here looking like an idiot. And I've asked multiple employees at Walmart. And, yeah, no one's. No one's given me any time or day. It would take not even 10 seconds to cut this piece of fabric. And yeah. Okay, well, so apparently um, the fabric and craft area closed at 10, but I was told at 9.30 to wait half an hour for the, um, like the night shift to start. Um, yeah, and basically I got really upset and I, almost burst into full-on tears when like the guy was like 
yeah, they're not coming. Like, no one's working. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need this fabric tonight. I need to have this head piece done by tonight. Oh my God. I think just being overtired and stressed finally caught up with me. So, and also I'm hungry because I haven't really eaten. All I had today was an omelet. So not smart on my part, but yeah, um, I got the fabric and I got some really nice pearl beads. But right now I'm going to go into Wendy's and I'm going to get, um, something to drink or something just like I feel like my sugar level is all over the place so yeah we're gonna we're gonna do that right now it is currently 2 15 in the morning and I've only just finished the headpiece and my as it looks pretty good yeah I'm excited to see it on my student's head tomorrow <sighs> and on that note I'm gonna wrap up today's vlog here so thank you so much for watching make sure you leave a like subscribe and ding on the bell so you get notified about my next day vlog I'll see you guys all tomorrow adios